So here's how you do it. Okay, so this is port 8080, obviously running, but this is my app. It's running on port 8080. So the first thing I want to discuss, actually, before we do the NAT, why don't we just run the app on port 80, right? Can we do that? Yeah, we can do http-server-p and specify the port. And if I specify port 80, my work, right? Right? No, sir. Look at this. Listen e access. What does that mean? It means restricted access. So here's the thing about these ports from 0 to port 1024. These are system ports, especially on Linux. You cannot listen on them unless you are root. So if you do sudo, then you, this application, or Node.js, or HTTP server, or Python, it will run on port 80. It will allow you to do that. Okay, so let's try that. Now if I do that, problem solved, guys, right? But that's the worst thing you can do, guys. That's the worst absolute thing you can do. Never run your application as root. You know why? Because this is the first defense to the outside world. If you run this application as root and you expose it to the outside world, and if somewhere your application, I don't know, has a vulnerability, and some attacker gain access to that XSS, anything really, right? What will happen is they just got a root access to your machine and you're done, right? There's no other defense that protects you. That's bad, guys. That is very bad. So what we want to do is we want to run our application as just a normal user and that user has limited access to our machine so if in case it got uh i don't know it got uh destroyed or something right so we we don't actually lose our entire machine or or accesses right so that's that's the idea of things okay so never run as root okay and instead, uh, you have to run as a normal user, which I am doing, right? It's just my user is Pi. It's called literally called Pi. Okay. Now we learned how why it's bad to run as root. Okay. What we want to do instead is do some IP table magic. So here's what we want to do. We want to insert a row in this NAT table that tells us, hey, if there is a packet coming through port 80 please forward it to moi but on port 8080 which is that's what our application is running on so how do we how do we do this we do this using the ip tables uh, uh tool if you will that is uh, available on your linux machine okay uh, raspberry pi has, comes comes with that right but since this is a very is a system call so you need to do sudo okay you just said hussein she's like you just told us how bad things are you you don't have to run things on on root and now you're running it in sudo well that was your application which is sketchy this thing is a system command plus your administrator runs this command you do not run this command every time you run it once and that's it right your application has to run every time it stops right and when we do sudo ip tables what we want to do is we want to use the protocol that is called nat network address translation and there are a lot of you protocols if you will or actions and we want to use the pre-routing before we do pre-routing or oh, there's an s there i want to pre-route anything that comes through tcp on destination port not destination it's actually the dynamic port anything coming on port 80 right dash dash d port 80 i wanted to use the destination nat protocol and this is my destination destination and to destination you specify the ip address which i'm going to use the same ip address of the Raspberry Pi. Now, some of you will say, why don't you just type in the DNS entry of the 
uh, like a Raspberry Pi instead of driving the IP address. Well, you can't. You have to specify the IP address because this is a NAT table. It doesn't know what DNS is. If you type a string there, you're going to get an error. Okay. So, and this is the IP address that I want you to forward things on. And this is the port I want you to forward things on. That's pretty interesting, guys. And that's it, right? So this, let's, let's run through this. Let's try to understand it. Sudo. Everybody knows sudo. IP tables. Okay, I forgot an S. That's the S. Okay. NAT. Pre-routing. The protocol is TCP, because HTTP is TCP, right? And the, under the hood. Destination port, not destination port, but uh, the dynamic port coming. Anything comes in port 80, right? I want you to use the direct the destination NAT to forward it to this destination, okay? Which is 192.168.8080, which is my mesh, my Raspberry Pi on this application that is running on port 8080. So what this does is like any packet that comes to port 80 instead of just bleh, right, dying, just take it and forward it, okay? So since this is the same machine, we don't need to run any other command. That should be enough. Let's try that. And that's it. Okay, let's try our application, guys. Now if I run run this, this will continue to work, right? The port 8080 will continue to work. My application will continue to work. Oh, I didn't stop that, right? You can obviously, if you want, to block that, right? But now if I do just Raspberry Pi, it works. Let's see if I can do better this time. Look at that, ooh, oh my God. This close, oh, it's this close. All right, never mind, <laughs> okay. But that's essentially, in a nutshell, how we do in destination NATs, guys. See you next.